friends, it's Brian. It's time for another video. Today, I'm going to be changing the mirrors on my Nissan Frontier. I'm gonna be putting towing mirrors on so I get the little parabolic uh, mirror built in. It'll give me better visibility when I'm driving around in traffic. Um, so I have ordered some Trail Ridge mirrors. Uh, I've used these before on my Fords. They're good mirrors. Uh, I'm excited to put these in. And it's gonna transform this type of mirror into a towing mirror and the nissan frontier is particularly easy to work on this this panel's got to come off so let me in fact this this panel just pulls off it's not even oh i'm gonna get my uh, release tool for these i'll be right back okay so if you get a tool like this it lets you slip under these and pop them out now unfortunately that one scratched my trim but it doesn't really matter because this is against the door when it's when it's shut so if that if that does bother you you might want to use a different tool i don't particularly care um, this is a work truck for me Okay, so that comes off. And now we're gonna unscrew these. I did roll down the window first, um, partly because it's 100 and what the hell out, but um, let me find the socket for these and then I will uh, be right back. So uh, I'm gonna use my um, cordless impact gun and then I've got a tool here to stop uh, the bolt vanishing these are 10 millimeter and very easy to get in the door pocket go get something else i'll be right back magnet of some kind will make it much easier to retrieve these. All right, and then for the last one, I'm going to move the camera. All right, so you're going to want to hold this so it doesn't drop. I saved the top one for last. Okay. All right. Oh, that sucks. So I'm going to have to take the door trim off to get to that. I was afraid of that. So let me put this back on so it doesn't go anywhere and then I'll work on the door trim. Okay, so really need to use a, a plastic trim tool, but a large screwdriver will work if you're careful. bolt here and a bolt there so we'll set that to the side and we need to do the same thing here but you need to use a smaller screwdriver um, for this and So let me work on these.
All right. Hopefully, usually these just pop up. So we don't need to take the whole thing apart. We really just want to get to the wire for the mirror. So we're going to gently come in here. And see if we can figure out where it's at. I think this is it right here. squeeze these together to free this wire up and then it should just be as simple as I understand why these connectors are always a pain in the ass All right, so that should be free. So let's go ahead and take this off at this point. All right. A little bit tricky to get out, but there it is. that we'll actually want to run. And these are much larger mirrors than stock. So this appears to be the passenger mirror, but you can see these are nice big power mirrors. So this one will go on the other side and they've got these ugly chrome trims that we'll get rid of at some point. Let me put this away and I'll unpack the other one. Okay, so these come with new hardware, so apparently it is a different size uh, fastener. So I'm going to remove the new fasteners and figure out um, what size they are, and I'll hopefully they're the same size, but they don't look it. So I'll be right back. So they are the same size, but they just have a wider um, washer built in. Now, if you had a helper, that would be fantastic, but I don't, so I'm going to do the best I can by myself. And first things first, I need to route the wire. And then I need to go ahead and get this on here. I'm not going to tighten it all the way, I just want to get that seated. Okay, now I'm going to fish for the wire. And this may be a little difficult. 
uh, with the camera. So I gotta figure out where it went. Okay, so it's really easy to have it right around the corner where it doesn't belong. This is where a large screwdriver can be helpful, maybe. I'm going to put the window back up. I suspect with the window up, this will be easier. I have a clearance issue right there. All right, so. Let me see if that made that easy to get to. It did, so now I can reach around the track. I still need both hands, so I'm gonna reposition the camera. So you're not gonna be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm fishing for this wire here so I'm going to snap that in and now I'm going to check to see if the mirror control works it does that's awesome so let me uh, put all this back together and again I'm going to move the So I've got that out of the way. I have a, a King Cab SD, which is a pretty rare model with a four cylinder engine. I didn't make any of these. So this goes back up in here, and then this sealant should just adhere back in place. Okay. And now we're going to lift this back into place. There's just nowhere good to clip this camera on this truck. Okay, so next we need to get this back in. I'm going to do the other one first.
Fortunately, this front here is a pretty simple truck. all in place about as good as it ever was double check that my window still goes up voila okay so now we're done there open these plastic rivets up and install them and then lock them so they pull out and we're done on this side so let's go to the other side okay so we're gonna go ahead and take this side off and my neighbor's Berkey dogs are gonna be back up so open them up, pull them out. This is a second way to do this. And then the same thing over here. So we will start with this one. And then we'll go ahead and do this one. And again, if you come in from underneath, it's less noticeable. the wayward bolt from behind here and just let this hang and then we're going to do the reverse of what we did on the other side now that we know where it's at why these are so difficult to get to release there we go all right now we just got screws to undo those back out.
Okay, so first things first, we're going to route this down inside. Uh, we'll actually do it from inside because we're going to need to be able to grab the So that's in. Um, next, I need to run the mirror up. Or I need to run the, the window up, I should say. That allows me to reach in there and grab this. And then I can spin it around and put it back in its, its little slot. All right. And then this all gets put back together. So we'll run the mirror down, or the window down again, because we need access to this. Missing one of them, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. So we'll go ahead and put these screws back in. Being really careful not to drop them. just the reverse of what we did in the front. All right, all this Tupperware pops back in. Okay, so <laughs> these are tight, so this can go back in as well. somewhere. So we'll open this up. Of 
and we're all done. So let me show you what it looks like. Now we've got big, nasty chrome mirrors on the truck, which I don't like. So, um, but from the inside, I can see, well, eventually I will see the whole, I'll see, be able to see the whole side of the truck, but this has got to come down first. So we're getting there. It's got to come down further. Okay, so in keeping with the, the concept that there is no easy way to do this, I'm going to translate the Chinglish instructions. You've got to take the mirror cap off. In order to do that, you need to be able to get behind it with a screwdriver. Okay. And once you are able to get behind it, you can simply twist the screwdriver to pop this loose. Now, this is pretty nerve-wracking that I just bought these and I'm already doing something that could easily damage them. But it's not that difficult. All right, I got one more down here that needs to be done. Okay, so once you twist those off, Take that and set it inside so you don't break it. Now you have access to the clips that are in here. And there's one here. So I'm going to get a second screwdriver. I'll be right back. Okay, and there's another one down here. And I'm going to go get a third screwdriver because I'm going to show you an easy way to do this. Now, once you've done that, you can simply push this. Well, maybe not. So at this point, this will just simply come off. And that's what I think of that thing too. So let me grab the other piece. Installation is just as easy. So we'll start over here. And then it just snaps in place and the gaudy chrome nonsense is gone. All right, now for the hard part, snapping this back in. all there is to it and then that's gonna have to come down so let's go to the other side and I'll show you how to do that now that I've done it once it won't be so bad and of course fingerprints are all over the mirror now, in case you're wondering what it looks like with chrome and without chrome there's the comparison chrome cap no chrome cap and we're definitely going for no chrome cap I want these things to vanish so I'm gonna push this back so I have more room to work you want to push the mirror down all the way like that and then using a long flat tip screwdriver, you're going to reach back here and basically you're going to engage where the mirror is clipped in and then just rotate your screwdriver to undo the clips gently. All right, so there's my mirror. Set that down. And then you want to lift up. There's, you'll see the little metal tabs back here, plastic tabs. You just want to lift up and free those. All right. And then we'll flip this the other way. 
okay. And then you just want to. Let me go get another little screwdriver. So you can use a little small screwdriver to get in here if you don't have a plastic uh, wedge like I don't. That's the other thing you can do is just pop it. All right, so I broke a part of this off in here somewhere. I don't care, especially now that it's out. I don't really like these chrome things. Let me grab the plastic one that's gonna replace it. So there's two little clips there. They go on the outside. in so I feel good about that and we're all done now all I got to do is adjust this and recycle that and these will go all the way out or forward a little bit and they'll pull out which I don't really need them to do I just wanted this piece so that's all there is to it I hope that you found this video helpful and uh, I will post a oh, there's the other piece I'll save that for if I ever take that door panel off again but uh, I hope you found this helpful and that it uh, encourages you to upgrade to the Nissan uh, Titan mirrors for towing, uh, which is what they are. They're common to the Frontier. Uh, not much has changed on the Frontier in years, so these should fit on a large number of Frontiers if you want upgraded mirrors.